All right, people, we're back. Um, Bitcoin is booming. Last I checked, it was just... Well, I'll let you guys see it for yourself. Uh, Ripple was booming earlier also. Things are looking good. Uh, Slip down a little bit. Um, again, as soon as the page loads, I'll let you see it for yourself. Um, these are not all-time record highs. Uh, Bitcoin did hit a high of over $5,000. Uh, before it raped, well, what was that? September 1st. Uh, looking about a little over a month ago. Um, it's still an awesome day. Bitcoin is up 3.13%. Uh, the high today was 46.27%. And it's 4,627. Boom. Shot right through that 4,400 ceiling. That, that 4,450 ceiling. 5,000 or $4,500 ceiling. And then 4,600. All in just a matter of, what is it, a day and a half, two days? I don't know. Yeah, it all happened very quickly. Uh, it's looking good, as you can see. There's, there's the whole graph in there. Right now, it's sitting at uh, forty-five ninety-four. Beautiful price. It's going to go back up to over forty-six hundred. I know. I know. Uh, it's been another crazy day. Crazy day. As for Ethereum, uh, it's down 1.73%, but it's still well above 300 at 307. Uh, Ethereum didn't have such a great day. It went horizontal and then it went down. A little bit of a dip somewhere right after midnight last night, 12.30. So, I don't know, Ethereum is just kind of doing its own thing. Usually Litecoin and Ethereum just follow whatever Bitcoin's doing, but that's not been happening lately. Uh, Litecoin is up about a half a percent, sitting at 52.87. Uh, we did have a big rise for Litecoin, starting at about 8.50 this morning. And you can see it going up. And these horizontal lines are uh, 50 cents. Is that right? Yeah, these are 50 cent lines here. The high today was uh, 54.82 and the low was 52.27. Um, so we were looking real strong and then it just started slipping back down to where it started so it didn't get very far at all gained like 25 cents on the whole day nothing to speak about I had a lot of money pouring into Bitcoin which can probably be gathered uh, the Bitcoin market is very optimistic at this point The volume is major. It's three hundred and thirteen million dollars. That's a lot. That's a ton. Uh, everybody's volume is up until we get down to sixth place, which is Bitcoin Cash, and the, the Bitcoin Cash is just not looking healthy at all, and it keeps losing money every day, even when the rest of the market is up. So Bitcoin Cash loses another six point. 32% and sitting at $338. Uh, I don't know. I think people just gave up messing with it. You know? It's hard to continue to believe in something that continues to, uh, you know, disappoint you. I'm sure we've all had relationships where you're just the only one giving it and you're not getting anything. 
and the person just keeps laying you down over and over, at some point you're going to say, you know what, I'm done. I don't have anything more to give you. And I, I think that's what happened. It's sad. I mean, it's Bitcoin's offspring. But, you know, it, this is cryptocurrency, and there's no real place for a heart in here. Uh, it's, it's about money. Words, we're speaking about people's hard-earned money here, and um, this ain't Wall Street where people just get free money from people and invest it. Anyway, I'm rambling. Bitcoin is number one in volume by, like, <laughs> no one's even close to close. Uh, Ethereum is number two, and Ripple is number three. Ripple's back in the top three in the big dogs of the crypto world. Uh, wow, a uh, massive gain at 15.3% for Ripple. That's going to be the biggest gainer of the day. Ripple's up to 27 cents. Almost 28 cents. It just keeps on rising. Ripple's having a great week, and we'll see if the. Uh, yeah, this coin wants to be a contender, and it, you know all the volume is just nothing but buys. Everybody's nobody's selling Ripple. Uh, Ten point six one billion market cap. That's a lot, folks. That's a lot. It's about one seventh of uh, Bitcoin. That's about one third of Ethereum. So. Oh, I think Ripple's here. Ripple's not double talking; it's playing hardballing. Here it is. Litecoin slipped down to fourth place, knocked out by Ripple. Uh, Neo is fifth. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is sixth. Omise Go is seventh. Digital Cash is eighth. Monero is ninth. Zcash is tenth. An honorable mention would be IOTA in 11th place, the biggest tanker of the day by far. Uh, losing 11.2% is NEO. Way down. NEO's price is now $31.93. You call it $32. Biggest gainer of the day by far is Ripple. And the market looks very, very, very strong. The coin is cheap. You can get a lot of them for a little bit of money. And four for a dollar. It's easier to understand what's going on when you have a low-priced coin. Rather, you know, you have a whole bunch of, you know, smaller value coins rather than having a percentage of one big value coin. I know so many people that just, you know, they they have two or three or five hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin, which is just a, you know, a minute fraction of 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 one coin. Um, and it's tough for these guys to get started uh, because the price just keeps going up so you're, you're getting less for every time you stick a hundred dollars in there it's, it's less than your other hundred dollars was worth so it's tough I know it's tough um, if that's where you're at if you're just going in with small amounts of money and, and exchanges like some exchanges limit you Majorly on how much you can invest, and uh, so you, I mean you couldn't buy a whole Bitcoin even if you wanted to, um, which is really weak. I don't know why an exchange. I mean, I, I really I realize they have to, you know, you have to validate yourself and prove that you're a real investor and not some bot and all that stuff, but. There's other ways to do that. When when you're limiting people to five hundred dollars and they have, you know, three thousand, um, 
That would be a weekly limit, you know, after a week, and you know, invest another five. And it's going to take you forever to, to, just to buy one coin. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Uh, Bitcoin is going to take another look. We're back over $4,600. Um, wow. It's been a tough climb since the FUD market, since the Chinese... China... Uh, crack down on ICOs, initial coin offerings. These are money raising things that people use to, to, to develop a new coin and stuff. And then, since that, which happened, uh, you know, the, the very beginning of September, and the market crashed all the way down from 5,000, it was hitting all time highs of 5,000. And it lost it's twenty percent of its market, no, forty percent of its market, in in one or two days, maybe three days, and it crashed all the way down to three thousand dollars from five thousand. Um, yeah, that's a forty percent loss in market value, and we're still trying to rebound back up to five thousand, and it's been. The whole month of September and October so far looking like a great month and, and we should be there. Yeah, if we keep going at this pace, hell, we'll be there in no time. Uh, Bitcoin, this price has pretty much done nothing but turn green all day long and it just keeps on rising and rising and rising. Uh, every, people in this market, if you, you, you remember, Ethereum was going horizontal and and Litecoin went up and then crashed back down and none of that is happening with Bitcoin. It just keeps going up, up and up, which is unusual. Um, because usually the, the, all the altcoins will follow Bitcoin's lead and trend. So if people are selling Bitcoin, they take it as, oh boy, I better sell my Litecoin. Uh, because the Bitcoin investors know what they're doing, so I better get out of here. And that's what they do. And so, yeah. It, that's not happening today. And it's funny how that trend works when Bitcoin is losing value. Yeah, the other coins will lose value, but when Bitcoin, it, it should work the opposite way. But okay, Bitcoin's rising in value, so you should stick more money in Litecoin. Um, if that's your coin, you know, your favorite coin for whatever reason. Um, but it doesn't work, though. Anyway, it's not working that way lately. Uh, we're sitting at exactly $4,600. I hope everybody had a great day and a great weekend. Peace, everybody.